that's happening, particularly at the state level. You're seeing the challenge to Senator Bennett, a vaunted three terms U.S. Senator being challenged within his own party by a faction. And you know what? I predict here in Davis County it will happen. It's how the great J. Del Holbrook won. We will find that here in Davis County, they will begin to squabble, they will implode, and will this Democratic Party be ready to emerge? Yes! Let me just finish by telling you a little bit of this. This is why the wackos are in trouble. It's their public policy. It's the public policy of having 10 cities for immigration. It's the public policy in drilling anything that moves for oil. I mean, they want to drill everywhere. It is the public policy that wackos want assault weapons, that you will have to pry their dead cold fingers from assault weapons. They are the party and, and the wacko groups that don't want stem cell research so that we can advance the quality of life and make many of us live. And finally, it's the party that wants to send you to jail for saying uh, Merry Christmas instead of Happy Holidays. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, when this party implodes, and, and it, it just, as we see it melt from inner fat fractioning, will this Davis County Democratic Party be ready to emerge? Yes! yes. <laughs> a recipe, very, very important recipe. Number one, each and every one of you have to look into your heart and start to look for people who can run for office. In every office, the most competitive people, people of your community. We need to strive for people we don't think we can get to run for us and get them to run. Because unless a party feels a good ball team, ain't going to win. So starting today, not a week from now, not two weeks from now or a month from now, Starting today, each and every one of you that are good Democrats need to look into your soul and say, if I'm not ready to run, can I find somebody to run to carry the banner ahead? Because the party will not advance. It will not reemerge unless you get the best, brightest, and most committed candidates to run for public office. Number two, you need to think hard about developing issues of a local nature that will carry the day for you. Now in 1990, we almost we came within about a half a percent of winning a U.S. congressional seat with a guy that no one remembers, Kenley Brunsdale, who nearly won the election, only a half a point uh, over uh, would have been Jim Hansen, but he won it entirely on one issue, and that was the, the, the pipeline. And he almost turned the election on the one thing. You need to do as a think tank. You got smart guys. I mean, you got Rob, you got Todd, the rest of you. You need to think of some local issues that will carry the day. One of the suggestions I would make is there is really good reasoning to have a light rail system come into this county, into the southern part of this county. Can it be done by Republicans? No. Say it's us. We are the ones who championed light, light rail and mass transit, and we have the presidency. So that would be an example. Um, the idea that you can have more open space. Does, does Davis County, uh, those commissioners have an open space fund? I don't know. We do 48 million. We went on the line, got it passed, and did it. And now we're safeguarding tons, hundreds, thousands of acres of open space that we need to. And you know something? Let me just tell you one other thing. It was the Republican, you know, was, I don't hear a couple of years ago there was a huge tax rule. This commissioner was one of the 10 times tax rate. Well, it was based on one thing. Why did it happen? Because the Republican state legislature would not reimburse counties for its jail prisoners it was holding. I mean, it, 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 basically what the state did is they said, okay, we're going to make counties raise taxes, and we're not going to raise taxes at the state level. And that's exactly what they did. Well, guess who controls the, uh, the legislature? Well, Republicans. And in this case, who controls Davis County Republicans, they were messing with their own guys. So all I'm going to say to you is it's possible to find those local issues which will convince your neighbors and friends that either not going to have to become Democrats, we just want to vote Democrat. And finally, each and every one of you need to wake up if you're really truly Democrats and want to see this thing change. You have to do what I want to say to you every day. 
you need to wake up and say, who can I switch? What good thing can I advance my feeling of goodness for Democrats and good public policy forward to change this county? If you do that, and you make it personal like that, it will happen. So ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. You know, I, I came here thinking, boy, this is a pretty tough, be a pretty tough duty because this this county, I don't think you have to be a elected official Democrat. You know what? It's gonna change. It's gonna change. It's gonna change.